Alright, so this video's performance element focuses on economic systems. And let's start by explaining the types of economic systems. So an economy and economic system are synonymous terms, so they're basically the same thing. And a traditional economy is one that's focused on uh, customs and rituals. A, a market economy relies on customer choice. A command economy relies on government choice. And a mixed economy relies on government and customer's choice. So the U.S. and most countries around the world are mixed economies. Identify the impact of small business entrepreneurship on market economies. So uh, identifying this impact includes impacts like providing jobs, offering a variety of goods and services to customers, creating and attracting competition, stimulating demand, providing tax revenue to the government, and providing income for the community. So these are all uh, direct effects on market economies that small business entrepreneurship has. Next, we will explain the concept of a public enterprise. So um, a public enterprise is any business activity that is created and controlled by the state or the government. So let's say the state of Colorado needs a DMV. Uh, they will build one, and that DMV is controlled by the state. So it makes it a, a public enterprise. A private enterprise, on the other hand, is a uh, activity that is not controlled by the state. So if Bob opens up his own car garage, he controls the car garage. The state does not. So that makes the car garage uh, Bob's own car garage, and it's a private enterprise. Now we'll identify factors uh, affecting business risk. So some factors affecting business risk are strategic risks, like risks associated with operating in a particular industry. There are also compliance risks that are associated with the need to comply with laws and regulations, financial risks associated with the financial structure of your business, uh, operational risks, and market and environmental risks that a company has little control over, such as major storms or natural disasters, global financial crisis, and changes in government legislation or policies. Last performance indicator is to explain the concept of competition. So, in economics, Competition is the rivalry among sellers trying to achieve such goals as increasing profits, market share, and sales volume by varying the elements of the marketing mix. And the four elements of the marketing mix are price, product, distribution, and promotion. And I go into uh, a little more detail about these four uh, elements of the marketing mix in the marketing section of this course. And that's the end of this performance element.